I remember when I was in, I think it was El Salvador, asking this worker, uh, well, how do you know uh, how much to spray? He said, well, I, I spray until I feel sick. And that's how I know to stop. I've never forgotten that. At its heart, what this is about is here in the U.S. with, um, you know, all of our scientific institutions and government agencies, we test these chemicals, these pesticides eventually. And as they are used in the real world, we discover things that cause cancer, they cause birth defects, they cause uh, other kinds of central nervous system damage. But under our laws and regulations, it's perfectly legal for companies, once these chemicals are banned or highly restricted, to continue to send them overseas, even though they can't be used at home. that systematically anything that was banned or heavily regulated or restricted or unregistered in the U.S. was being allowed by the U.S. government and in fact encouraged to be sent overseas almost as compensation for the companies for losing the U.S. market. So the big six are the six agrochemical companies that control upwards of 75% of the global pesticide trade. And the big six by name are Monsanto, Dow, Bayer, Syngenta, DuPont, and BASF. And those six global corporations really control the terms of food and farming. People who are selling poison to the other parts of the world are people who have only one thing in mind, greed and profit. Essentially, it's a statement that here our lives are precious, so we can't use them here, but there their lives are cheap. So while I don't think the public is racist or government officials are racist, I think that it is, it is a racist thing we do and it is profit motivated. So I went to Mexico and I lived there for two, three years. And I would be out there spraying this stuff without no masks, no goggles, and nothing. Um, I thought that's the way farming was. I think this is really a vital issue, actually, because it's an indicator of where, as a culture, we stand in regard to keeping hazardous chemicals out of our environment and out of our lives. It's really hard to understand how a system like this is allowed to operate, and it continues to operate, and no one's talking about it, and no one's trying to stop it.